Alright, so these are the new features and cap cuts that will blow your mind. I mean, the bro, you forgot to say five and five and five my features, like five features. And also, bro, you forgot to say cool features and features. Alright, they are, they are cool and interesting, trust me. So, uh, without wasting much of a time, let's vibe. Hey what's up guys, it's South Lord here and welcome back to my two channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 5 new core interesting features in CapCut. Yeah, so lately CapCut added some new features and they are really cool. To be honest, they added some cool animations, they added some features like uh, the isolate voice, enhanced voice, enhanced video, and other cool features we're going to be talking about in this video. So we are going to be covering all of these features in this video and yeah, they are the free ones and the pro ones. But we are going to be talking about the free ones also so that you'll be able to know the ones to use and if you really want to upgrade it to the pro. Yeah. So the first feature we're going to be talking about is the cool caption animation. So lately, Capcut added some cool caption animations. And if you notice, most of these big content creators do add them in their videos. When you watch their videos, these captions animations do catch up your attention. I mean, they are really aesthetic. And cool. In this caption animation, we have the free ones and also the pro ones. You can actually select from the free ones, they are really cool. And you can actually pick for the pro one. That is if you upgrade to the pro version of CapCut. Yeah, I didn't actually upgrade to the pro version, so I'm going to pick any of the free ones and you know add to my videos. And the free ones are really cool, to be honest. So, if I start any of these cool caption animations, what you have to do is click on text and then click on auto captions now in this session you can actually pick any of the caption animation they are really really interesting i mean you can pick any of them right there so when you're done picking anyone you like what you have to do is to click on generate when you click on generate give you some time to add captions to your video if you don't like any of the animation you pick first you can actually style your caption i mean you can choose any caption animation of your choice so what you have to do is click on style when you click on style you'll come to the section where you have any kinds of caption animation i mean pretty cool caption animation they are really aesthetic you can pick any of the free ones now we have the training fyc word glow basic free you can actually change your fonts style effects animation bubble etc that's pretty much it Okay, actually try that and let me know what you think about the caption I mentioned in the comment section. Next, we'll be talking about enhanced voice. So this is pretty cool when you do record a video in a noisy environment or you want your video to like sound a little bit better if you don't have a microphone and you do make a video in a very noisy environment or stuff like that. So this is not as good as the Adobe broadcast though. I wouldn't lie about that to be honest, but it is really cool. Yeah, it is, it is cool. So this is how my voice sounds with the enhanced voice feature. This is how it sounds like without the enhanced voice feature. Actually, you won't notice much difference because there's not that much noise in this background. But I think you can at least notice a little bit different, right? So this is how to apply this feature in your video. So when you move the options to the left side, you'll click on enhanced voice. When you click on that, you can increase the noise cleanup and after that, click on good and that's all. So the third feature that was added in CapCut is called Isolate Voice. So this is a very cool feature, just like the enhanced voice and a little bit of like reduced noise. Okay, previously we have the reduced noise feature in CapCut, but this is not as cool as the Isolate Voice. I mean, it's not as perfect as the Isolate Voice. The Isolate Voice feature really work perfectly. I mean, it is really cool. Now, this is how my voice sounds like with the Isolate voice feature. And this is how it sounds like without the Isolate voice feature. Actually, you won't notice much difference because I did actually turn on my fan and uh, there is no much noise or background noise right yet. But at least you will notice a little bit different. You can actually try this out in a noisy environment to see what it looks like. So you have to apply this feature in your video. So when you move the options to the left side, you will click on Isolate voice. Now you have the options to keep the vocal or to remove the vocal. Keeping all the vocal means to keep your voice. 
And removing of the vocal means to remove your voice. But I think removing your vocal is not that necessary. Unless you just have to like reduce the volume of the video. That's just the same as remove vocal, right? So the next feature we'll be talking about auto frame. This is a pretty cool feature for people who do shoot a lot of form content and try to like bring out a short form content out of it. Yeah. So when you click on the auto frame, you can like you actually choose from any of the frame, like the TikTok, the Instagram, every other frame had their icon. You can actually choose from and this is really, really cool. Yeah, very, very useful. To make use of this feature, you just have to click on auto frame, choose any of the resolution, I mean any of the frame, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So the first feature that we added lately in CapCut is called Enhanced Video. This is really cool if you do shoot your video in a low quality. I mean, that doesn't really matter though, but you can actually just feel like enhancing your video quality if you're not cool with your video quality. So the thing is, this feature is not free and it is for the pro users. So when you upgrade your CapCut to the pro version, you'll be able to use this feature. So yes, how to apply this feature in your video. When you click on enhance video, you have this option of image quality, reduce image noise, and remove flickers. These are the three features under the video enhancement. So when you click on image quality, you can actually choose neither HD quality or UHD quality, aka 4K resolution. And yeah, they work pretty fine. Though I won't be able to like show you guys in full frame how this looks like, but let me just zoom in a bit for you guys to see the difference. When I click on this HD, you will notice a bit different. And when I click on the 4K resolution, you can actually see the difference, right? And that's just it. And yeah, I tried all this feature and let me know what you think about them in the comment section. Also, let me know which is the most useful. Yeah, for me, I actually think all of them are really useful. If you're using CapCut to edit your videos. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Please do not forget to support our YouTube channel by subscribing and also turning that notification bell on. See you in my next video. Peace out.